I'm just yeah. a Harlem nigga repping down a Vegas trip with my own shit. You from my burning nigga, go and rep your own hood. I'm not hating on your Billy Worth. Right now, I'm only saying what you really worth. You ain't no architect, you just a nigga, not a market death. Go pay his mother what she really worth, nigga. The people doing it. I'm gonna make sure I'm not doing it. So there's artists that I used to work with. I'm going to get with them, and I'm going to work out some so they can move on and do the stuff they need to do. It's just time for that, man. Making people not even want to do music no more. It's crazy. And I'm really looking forward. I'm really looking forward to all the artists that be talking that talk and acting like they're really serious and, and serious about you know, making it better for artists. I want to see them post this. I'm really looking forward to them posting it. I think, you know, they'll find it somewhere that they'll post it. And I ain't taking no shots at nobody. It's just, but I don't care how nobody take it neither. I ain't playing humble with them no more. I'm only humble before God, that's it. I ain't humble to them. No more. That's it. So you heard it from me. Go send that link out to everybody you know. And follow me, subscribe. And if y'all like this kind of content, I'll come on more. But I don't just like coming on just to waste people's time. I ain't for that. For 20 years, I've been taking the shorter end of everything to just make things go the way they needed to go. Mm -hmm. If you think about even, you know, doing music with Puff, a lot of the songs I came to Puff with those songs done people people they never give me credit for that all my awards went to puff i wrote all those songs more money more problems yeah but that was on all big the, album right so that was songs i had as my single that they gave the biggie got it for his album mm -hmm. do you not get paid for those mm -hmm. even now yes but oh, i'm yeah. saying like if you if you knew that mace was the one doing all of that you would see me in a different light even today people praise bad boy the gold, the real golden ever of Bad Boy, I was spearheading. Mm -hmm. Biggie made it, and I'm not, you know, Biggie taking Biggie. away, I'm, right? You're not taking I'm away. I'm under nothing. Biggie. I'm nowhere near Biggie. Right, right. I gotta catch myself so somebody catch that and try to run with it. Right. No, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, good catch, I'm good saying catch. I'm saying when nice. Biggie, I'm saying when Biggie passed away, right? And the company is in ambiguity, okay. And everybody is lost and in shambles. It was my pen mm -hmm. that made Bad Boy rise to the occasion. Mm -hmm. It was my style to the point you think I was following Puff. And that was my style. It, it, mm -hmm. I'm being number two on my own intelligence. Mm. That's that, a team play. I feel like that line really bothered you. What? you number two in your own videos. No, no, not really. Because you, I don't know. I, to, I to wore, number, that, I wore right? number two in 22. Okay. And when I wore it two, is, it, to me, it means second to nobody. Okay, I get it. Yeah. So what do you? Yeah. So what? What would you want if you could like, like what do you want your legacy to be? What do you? That's why. That's why mm -hmm. I'm rapping after the song, because I want my my legacy to be cleared up. Mm -hmm. Because I think if you just go on bars alone, in songs like, if you say how many rappers you know, was songwriter of the year, mm -hmm. hands down. How many you know, you couldn't name on two hands. So how do you discredit all that? Because you give all the credit to this person and then the jokes from this person.